Hey there, welcome to the vlog. So we have had a ton of fun at the ports, Costa Maya and Cozumel the past two days. The next thing on our itinerary is actually two days back to back at sea. So we get to enjoy the Disney magic and just take in the ship, do activities on the ship for the next two days. So I'm gonna take you along for day five of our cruise and our day at sea aboard the Disney magic. We already had breakfast, so for a lunch starter, we're gonna have ice cream. And today's flavors are banana ice cream, chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and twist. Pretty good. So far, I think my favorite flavor of the trip has been the mint ice cream. It was really good. Look, those are those two are swimming side by side. Oh, that is so cool. So we are enjoying some drinks here while Isabella watches Ratatouille over on the Funnel Vision. And we are gonna be meeting up with some people to give them some Space Camp alumni swag. And then we are going to probably get more ice cream. So we are having a quick lunch at Cabana's and they have lots of yummy things. We're gonna split these crab legs. Isabella likes the crab legs. And then we got some shrimp, and I just got a number of different types of fish to try. Then we're going to do some exploring. This Seriously, the cutest little desserts. This is a strawberry cupcake, and this is a tart that looks like it's a chocolate tart. But we're going to bite into it and see what it is. I'm back at the room after having lunch with Isabella and our bed is all nicely made and her bed has been made back into a couch. So we enjoyed just sitting here and watching movies last night and I'm gonna work on some review videos. So one of the things that I think I had mentioned in some of my regular day in the lives and people were asking down in the comments for more information or they just didn't quite understand. So let me share a little bit about what I do on these trips beyond the videos that you're watching right now. So I do the daily vlogs and we do those on YouTube. We love sharing those. I love having them for memory keeping and they're a really big part of our trips when we go on them as a family and even trips like this that I go on either on my own or with just one other traveler. So we definitely do those day in the life vlogs that you watching this video are probably most familiar with. But as with all things social media, you kind of have to have a presence in a lot of different places. So I also make short videos, reels over on Instagram. I share photos there. I'm usually pretty active in stories whenever I'm traveling so I'm kind of sharing the up to the minute what we're doing now so you can kind of really get a sense of what we're doing I share all that while we're in the moment and then all of these videos I actually edit because they're longer form videos they take longer to edit longer to process and longer to upload I have to do all that after we're back and that's how I've always done that so I do all of the editing and processing of these videos after we're back so if you're watching these videos we're back and so that's just kind of my regular rhythm and flows so, so we post these longer videos on YouTube a lot of times on Facebook the longer form videos go shorter form videos on Instagram a little bit on TikTok I still don't do a ton on TikTok but I know I need to and those are all shorter form platforms and then I also have a certain amount of items that go on my website now website I really take a lot more pictures and focus on linking to videos here on YouTube so that's what's going on in the website and then the last piece which I mentioned in some of my day in the life videos and people were like I don't understand what are you talking about like I get things on Amazon but what is this Amazon has actually over the past number of years has developed quite a big influencer program and I'm a part of the Amazon influencer program I have a storefront on Amazon which which that means is you just can go to my website which is amazon.com slash shop slash be mommy with style and you can see all of my content which is made specifically for Amazon so Amazon has literally made their own social media platform in a sense and they just recently launched Inspire which is inside the Amazon app and it's vertical content. So a lot of that short form vertical content that I'm making for Instagram and TikTok really can be repurposed and put on Amazon for Inspire. But I make a whole host of content that is beyond that Inspire sort of content where I make videos and reviews that are specific to Amazon and really don't go anywhere else. They are specific to Amazon. And that is what I have been working really a lot on the past year and a half. And so these trips have actually largely become ways for me to share more review, more items, different types of items, 
for my Amazon platform. And so a lot of times when I talk about Amazon in my videos, my regular day in life videos, people don't really understand that like Amazon has started this whole new kind of really kind of social media platform of its own. They have a really huge influencer program. They have influencer conferences now. They have a creator university. So there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of different programs inside of it. I can't even sum it up in this one travel video because that's not what this video is about. But I can say that it's become a really big piece of my overall business. So with anything in social media, you have a lot of different streams, a lot of different parts, and it has become a very big focus of my business. So right now, like what I'm wearing right now is this Amazon dress. So what I'm going to go do right now is actually have a closet full of Amazon items and I am going to do reviews here in the room. I've been taking pictures and short clips of video all around the ship and all during our whole trip. And when I get back, I'm going to put all of those reviews together and share those, these the videos that I make today will have clips of wearing the item around, pictures of me wearing it, and put it all together and that helps inform customers on Amazon what would work for their body type, what would work for different situations, different types of trips are going on, etc. So kind of how I make these travel videos on YouTube to share helpful information so you can see whether this itinerary or this particular ship would work for you. I also share that type of content over on Amazon to help shoppers there figure out if those sort of items would work for them as well. So hopefully that explanation helps. But actually for the next few hours, <laughs> I'm going to be working on that Amazon content. So I wanted to kind of fill in the gap in this video because you're going to see us like go to lunch. Today's been kind of a light day because we really slept in. So we got a small breakfast. We kind of hung out in the room, got ready. We went to lunch. We were hanging outside. We saw dolphins swimming next to the boat. That's been one of my favorite experiences so far. I loved that. And then now you're going to lose, you're going to have a gap of a couple hours. It's probably going to be like me going to a show and then dinner and you'll be like, what did you do all day? Um, hopefully sit by the pool maybe in there somewhere later on today. But I've got to work on these Amazon review videos. So even though you may not see like large blocks of time on some of our travel videos, there are things going on. And then I think I mentioned yesterday in the video, like sometimes it's just, there's certain situations where it's just either not right to film or either extremely difficult because of the moment like yesterday we got caught in a rainstorm in the port and it was actually probably going to end up being another really fun memory from the trip but there was just no way to film that because you've got rain pouring down and you're drenched and there would just be water all over the camera and it's not going to translate but um those are the little moments where i feel like it could be like the truman show and i could just like you know show you what i see but We'll do the best that we can <laughs> with the camera and then just sharing it a little bit along the way. But I can tell you, I really have loved this itinerary. I would absolutely do this itinerary again. I can already tell you that. I'm going to be doing a full recap after the whole trip is over, but I loved these ports. I will definitely recommend that maybe we do this one as a family. Um, the only thing that I think the time length of the cruise really fit me and Isabella better, my husband three to four day cruises I think fit him better so we'll see um, for the future what our next cruise as a family will be but anyhow I really did like this one but we have a lot of other places we want to go too, Alaska maybe the Eastern Caribbean so there's a lot of places on our wish list also anyhow I've got to get to work on all of my other content as well so I will bring you along for the rest of my day hopefully a little bit at the pool and then Tonight I'm going to go see the Tangled musical, which of course I won't be filming in that, but I will definitely let you know what I think. I love Tangled, st absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that musical and then tonight's dinner we're going back to Rapunzel's Royal Table for a lantern show. So tonight's going to be very, very exciting. So this is where we are having dinner tonight and we're at Penzo's Royal Table, but you can actually see it so much better with the lights all the way up. I'm waiting to do the lantern photo in here and tonight we're doing the lantern show. You can see all the details on the table a lot better. There's all kinds of great artwork around all the portholes. 
and each of them are a little different. So like that one has Flynn Rider on it. There's Rapunzel with Pascal. You can see that there's lots of great details. Even the napkin holders have that little sun on there and the bread bowl has different caricatures on there. All the way up to the ceiling where you can see the crow and the sun is around the lights. So today's kind of turned into Rapunzel Day because there was the lantern photo that was downstairs in the restaurant. I'm going to go to the character beat to meet Rapunzel real quick and put my Rapunzel dress back on. And then the Rapunzel, the musical is tonight and we're eating at Rapunzel's Royal Table. So kind of turned into Rapunzel Day around here. Still need to do a little bit of shopping, but right now I'm waiting to go into Walt Disney Theater for the Rapunzel show. And the shows have been super full on this ship, so I'm expecting tonight will be too. So Tangled the Musical was really, really good. I loved it. It's one of my favorite animated movies anyways. So I basically knew all the lines, but it was really, really good. But I've changed clothes to go to Rapunzel's Royal Table again tonight. Different menu, different show, so it'll be a different experience and I'm getting ready to go meet up with Isabella she has been at edge they've got to swap and they went to vibe for a little bit all the edge kids went to vibe all the vibe kids went to edge they swap spaces like that on these longer cruises to kind of change things up so that's cool and I'm getting ready to go meet up with her so we can go to so this is the dress for tonight it is a one shoulder dress Isabella really likes this one it's kind of like a teal color and it's got like the tear kind of vibe to it and then this top is like the smocked top that it has been on a number of the other dresses this one is just different because it's got the one shoulder so it's kind of unique but it's very cute on i really love the color and it's kind of like almost it's like little floral patterns but it almost kind of looks like dots so anyhow i thought that this would be a fun dress for tonight and then i have one more dinner dress actually two more dresses i don't know which one i'm gonna wear to dinner which one i'm gonna wear tomorrow but a couple more dresses i'm gonna wear coming up um but i'm gonna go meet up with isabella for dna dna aggressive hair They seem to be reverting back to their primitive savage ways. It is possible, so we must be vigilant, and we at the ZPD are prepared and are here. charcuterie board so it's got a number of different meat options and some bread on there thank you this is my lantern drink I'm gonna try We've got some pretzels and Isabella has the soup and her smoothie
to regular dinner, but I just got a sirloin steak and it was it was good. Um, I don't take, get steak a lot, so it was kind of a rare a rare choice. But this is the birthday Sunday, and I wanted to make sure to get this because it's got this cute little candle on the top. This cake right here, and then lots of little sprinkles and goodies down inside. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our day at sea aboard the Disney Magic. We'll have another fun day at sea coming up in our next vlog. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.